My name is Marty Plecky. For a long time, I've been frustrated with Microsoft. For example, the Microsoft Office 365, it costs a lot of money. And for as much as I use it, which I use it, but it's not on a daily basis, uh, I just didn't want to pay for it. So I looked for alternatives to Microsoft's Office 365 and found something called Open Office. While I was looking for that, I found something called OpenShot Video. Open Office uh, has a full suite of word processor, spreadsheet, PowerPoint, etc. that looks a lot like what you're used to with Microsoft. So it was no big deal to to load that and it's it's free. You can donate to to the developers if you so choose and if you use it enough you probably should. But I've used this now for a while and it does a great job. It reads Microsoft uh files. It 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 can save to a Microsoft file, but I I save it in uh Open Office's own uh file extension. And the open chat video is what I use to make these videos. It's also a, I guess you could call it free download, uh, and you can use it. And if I use it enough, uh, uh, I donate uh, to support the efforts of these people that uh, make this product and uh, offer it on the web without selling it. So what Eventually, my frustration came to a peak when Microsoft announced that they were going to get rid of or not support Windows 10 anymore. And when I started to investigate if it would take Windows 11, my computer won't take Windows 11. So I had just had enough of Microsoft. So I started to look for an alternative to Windows. And I found one called Linux Mint. So this video is about my efforts to install Linux Mint. And it, I've done it and it's, and it's okay. So I did it on the computer that's right behind me here. And now I'm going to, I'm doing it on a computer that, that uh, I had, I had windows on and it was just, going so slowly that I uh, I didn't use it anymore. This Asus laptop uh, has been sitting for probably a couple years, maybe more, uh, because it was so slow. Uh, uh, but after being su successful with uh, installing Linux Mint on my desktop computer, I figured I'll, I'll try uh, installing this. And there's a tutorial. The guy does a fantastic job. I'll put the link down below. I've already made a bootable thumb drive on this Lexair unit to boot this computer uh, with the Linux Mint operating system. I got all the files off the computer except for Windows. I shut the computer off here. As soon as I turned it on, I started hitting the delete key. What that does, it stops Windows from booting and it shows this. So I'm in the BIOS now and I'm doing what he says. Now, the mouse doesn't work in this kind of a screen. So what I stumbled on was that the, these left, right, up and down keys work. I'm making the selections in the BIOS that will make the computer load Linux Mint on the computer as a operating system and get rid of Windows. There's the Windows Boot Manager, and I'm going to change it over to the thumb drive here and hit Enter to make that selection. I disabled the second boot option, 
And now I'm going to save the changes and exit. So I'm using the, the right arrow to get over to save and then hit enter to save. Save this configuration. I'm going to say enter for yes. Per the instructions, it says start Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition 64-bit. Not, not the compatibility mo mode. So I'm just going to click enter here. It's continuing the process of installation. So the computer is booted up with Linux Mint. Up in the corner here it says install Linux Mint and I'm going to press that. So I was given a choice to install Linux Mint alongside Windows but I didn't want to have anything to do with Windows ever again if I can help it. So erase disk and install Linux Mint. That's the choice that I made. And I push the continue button and now I'm going to push the continue again to continue the process. So far so good. I've got a welcome to Linux Mint. I'm going to go a little bit further and test how quick things go. Before it took minutes to load a, a program, minutes to move the cursor. It was painful. It seems to me that this is really going well. When I did that before, it would take up minutes for anything to pop up, and, and here it's almost instantaneous. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with this whole thing. If you got something from this video, and I hope you did, click thumbs up. Also, click the subscribe button. Subscribing doesn't cost anything. It just allows you to be notified when I make another video, in case you may have interest in that topic. I have several other videos on many different topics. You may be interested in one of those. Just search my name. Marty Plecky, P-L-E-C-K-I. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.